Hey everyone, I'm Mark Applebacher. I'm co-owner of CD3 Waterless Cleaning Stations. And just wanted to say thank you for everyone out there that's online watching the event. Uh, we've had a great turnout here. It's been about 350 people that have showed up to talk about the issues around AIS, management of them, and strategies. Um, just wanted to share some behind the scenes look of what's happening on the trade show floor and a little bit about CD3 uh, Watercraft Cleaning Stations. So what I have here in front of you is the actual thing. This is a CD3 waterless cleaning station. Uh, I wanted to go through some of the operation of the tools just so you can get a first-hand experience of how it functions. So if you're a boat, you're coming off the water, you see this giant machine in front of you. It's six feet tall, eight feet wide. The entire skin of this, the wrap, the design can all be customized to your local logos, slogans, and sayings. We want this to be a community asset that boaters can rally around and utilize and understand the value and, and programs that you have in your state, your county, your region. So when you show up at this machine, you say, well, what are all these things? There's lights on it and everything else. Well, if it's dark out, you're going to need lights on. And those lights will help illuminate uh, into the watercraft and underneath the uh, undercarriage and around the trailer. Uh, we're really trying to give people the tools first and foremost to find out where all those critters could be. So maybe you need to reach down and get some of those weeds off. You've got a grabber tool. Now this grabber tool is one of the most used tools in our pilot just because it's simply easy for people to grab and pull all those weeds off that they can't reach down and get themselves. Um, all the tools that are handheld tools are tethered by a lineman's cable. It's a stainless steel cable that holds them in place and we count each use with this little device here. This counts each use of this equipment that we'll talk about later on in our online software and analytics program. Other tools that people may use is a good old fashioned plug wrench. You wouldn't believe how many people have used this in our pilots because sometimes people don't have the proper tools to pull their plug and drain their boat. We also have as a service to the boaters a squeegee and brush tool now this is used uh, to check your bunks, clean off your bunks, and also check the side of your boat if there are adhered zebra mussels on it. So again, as a waterless cleaning station, what do we want people to do? We want people to remove water. And the best tool for that, good old fashioned wet dry vac. Now the station itself can handle around three to 400 boats prior to it needed to be pumped out. It's got a 100 gallon tank, we have sensors built into that that will automatically tell you when it needs to have service. But people can suck up whatever they want. Again, wet dry vac so they can suck up their baits, their bait buckets. This thing will take down about five gallons of water in under 30 seconds. So we welcome people to clean out all water resources that are in their boat. Find those hard to reach nook and crannies in the bottom of their uh, cruiser boat or inside their engine. So these are all pieces that we want people to utilize to find out where those AIS species and villagers and other elements could be. As part of that, we have instructions on the equipment that walk people through it, or they can go to stopais.com, which is a customizable URL that we can have with different instructions. We made this initially with the Minnesota DNR's uh, inspector protocol in mind. Now the last tool that we have in the system is a blower tool. Now this is a blower that can't quite tell because it's there, but it really moves a lot of air. It's a 90 PSI blower, and this is extremely useful to get all those hard to pick off little weeds along the edges of your boats, uh, uh, the tires in your trailer, and everything else. So for us, we found that this is an extremely useful tool for a lot of folks that are just trying to clean their boat off and detail those little uh, hard to reach edges and, and nooks and crannies. So. What happens with the CD3 station is uh, people come, they use it for about seven to 10 minutes. And after that time, uh, they move on and they've learned about uh, AIS prevention strategies and information that you may have on the equipment itself. Now what happens for anyone that uh, owns and manages the equipment is we log all of its use and functionality online. This unit is connected to the internet via a cellular gateway. It's a machine-to-machine -machine special frequency, so we have greater roaming capacity to be in hard-to-reach places all over the country, uh, across all of North America, actually. So, if you could pan in on this here, this is actually the back-end software. It's uh, myc3station.com. This, this is a portal that you'd have access to that logs its use and functionality of the equipment. It documents its current uh, capacity uh, on the tank, and we monitor things such as the voltage. And we also have built into this tool tamper alerts. 
So if a tool is broken or doesn't isn't used for a period of time, it'll tell you that something's wrong with it, which means that you have to go check on it. So instead of having to check on this uh, piece of equipment every day, every week, it tells you when it needs service and it'll automate that process for you. So, well, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this machine, but uh, also share that there's a lot of great conversations being had here. We hope you can participate as much as you can online and uh, engage your communities where you're at because without the programs that you're working on and initiatives you have in your own communities, none of this really matters. It all comes down to what you're doing and messaging the, the boaters, in our instance, the day boaters, to change their behavior. So with that, I'll say thank you for coming online and, and uh, enjoying uh, the presentations we have here, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon.